don't know. I'm not really sold. Maybe it's just me. Don't get me wrong. I am one of those guys who respects the uh, wrestling and grappling in UFC. Uh, um, for example, Khabib's most boring fights, what people would call boring, I actually liked him. And by the way, no, he is not getting the uh, $300,000 bonus of the night. He better not. We're going to rank the uh, bonuses, by the way, who I think should get it. So far, Diego Lopez is number one. Um, Kayla Harrison, number two. Look, he want that money. He ain't getting it. Former Contender Series winner. Bo Nickel. I watched a little bit of that season, you know, but didn't really follow it too much. So before we listen to the, uh, oh wait, here we are. A few highlights. Great grappler though. Great wrestler. You know, working his way up. I wonder if he's going to get a ranking after this fight because both of them were unranked. By the way, this is opening up the uh, pay-per-view of UFC 300. The prelims and the early prelims, prelims were fire. We're going to go through them all. Look, locked him right in. Choked him right out. That was it right there. And then once he rolled over, let's see if we can get the tap. There we go. The light tap, too. Face turning all red. Um, the reason why we can't show all the clips, obviously, is because UFC will copyright the shit out of you. But because this is fair use, we're able to show little brief clips for news reporting and parody. So, so far, as we wait for the particulars, oh, they're going to do it now. Maybe adjust Let's turn it up. to get into a second round, but Bo Nickel, very much a factor here at 185 pounds. Official decision brought to you by Heart Tools with over 800 quality tools to maintain your home, yard, and... I don't see him competing uh, with the top five of the division just yet. I need to see some more. How old is Bo Nickel, by the way? Chris Coyote is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke. And a lot of rear naked chokes tonight. Undefeated Bo I'm here with the winner, Bo Nickel. Bo, at the end of that fight, you booed yourself and gave yourself two thumbs down. Why did you do that? You know, um, I feel like I'm a little bit embarrassed with that performance just because I expect to go out there and completely dominate and shut this guy out. And I gave him a little bit uh, too many opportunities. But at the same time, I feel really grateful because I did get to get past the first round, which in my mind is... Now that I'm a few seconds removed, kind of ideal because I was able to, you know, have that experience under my belt now. Well, Cody was probably the most difficult and certainly the most experienced ex opponent in the UFC that you've faced so far. What, what was different about this fight? I think he was just more confident. Like, he uh, came out to fight, which is great. And uh, for me, you know, it's a good learning experience now. And I know a guy's confident. Um, I'll just, um, I guess... Um, be a little more uh, tactical and, you know, not get into positions that I'm uh, vulnerable. Well, there's so much pressure that people put on you and so much pressure that you also put on yourself. You have so few fights, but yet you're one of the most watched guys in the sport. What is that like? It's awesome. You know, I'm just grateful for all the people that support me. And I think all the people that want to see me lose, I'm going to turn you guys around. I love you guys. You know, I appreciate y'all. And uh, the more I win these fights, I'm going to keep climbing up. I'm going to keep dominating. And all of you are going to love me. I guarantee it. Now, for your next opponent, what type of fighter would you like to face? How far up the ladder you want to move? You know, um, I don't really care. I'm 28, and uh, I got a long, long career ahead of me. Um, I want to fight a better guy. That's the thing for me. Every single fight, I'm going to fight better and better guys. I think people forget. I'm like 5-0, and so I'm now 6-0. and um, And most of the guys I'm fighting have 15, 20 fights. So, you know, yeah. I think by the time I'm 10, 12, and 0, I'll be fighting for the belt. So just keep that in your mind. Next time I fight a guy, if he's not, you know, the number one guy or something, just I got six fights, so relax. Do you have any names on your mind? Um, you know, I think uh, Anthony Hernandez is a guy I could fight. I like Kapilov. They just had a good fight. You know, take anybody in the division, I'm coming for you guys. So if you're lucky enough to get the call to fight me, just be grateful and sign that contract. Congratulations, sir. Bo Nickel, ladies and gentlemen. It's a top, uh, bit of a top heavy, uh, 185 pound division. Obviously, two plus East who's supposed to be fighting Asanya. Um, they were supposed to fight tonight, UFC 300, right? Robert Whitaker, Cannoneer, Vittori, Brendan Allen. Basically, uh, I'm not ready yet, but I think getting into the rankings next, or if he's not going there after this fight, I think this is perfect right here for him.
the uh, Anthony Hernandez fight, start moving him up because as he says, you know, he can acknowledge that he's not going to be getting the title shot anytime soon, especially with that stop. Um, so the rank, the top guys right now, I mean, the top fights for the card right now. Now, tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. So already, so far, fighter of the night, the $300,000 bonus, I'm giving it to Diego Lopez. Davidson Figueroa had a nice, uh, uh, solid performance against uh, Cody. Uh, Bobby Green bloodied up Jim Miller in the decision. Jessica Andrade, that was the closest fight of the card so far. Andrade versus uh, uh, Rodriguez. Ronaldo dominated. I think, let me see, who's number two would you rank for the $300,000 bonus? I'm going Lopez, Ronaldo, Kayla. No, Lopez, Kayla, Ronaldo, Giri. Is Giri's more dominant than Ronaldo? I think so. I'm going Lopez, Kayla, Jerry, Renato, and then maybe Davison. Uh, Al Jermaine definitely last. Definitely last. Uh, Bo Nichols mixed in there somewhere too, as far as stoppages or you know um, uh, the fight of the night. So more, so basically four more fights left. Take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and teach you controversy with Five View Three Sixty.